Hi, I'm Drew Dockery. I'm 52 years old. I work at a hospital, Gunderson Health, right along the banks of the Mississippi River here in La Crosse, Wisconsin. I've got three kids. I'm a working musician, spent so much of my adult life, and I've got Parkinson's. So there I am, the youngest of eight kids, four boys and four girls in the family. And I remember sitting in my room one day, I was about nine years old, and listened to my AM radio and probably Sonny and Cher was on or something like that, or Three Dog Night, the big hit of the day, whatever it was. We're talking mid-70s, late-70s maybe here. And my older brother Tim comes walking into the bedroom and he's got a record in his hands. And I had three older brothers, like I said, and they all had record collections, and I was forever digging through them and looking at them just going, wow, neat, and, and I didn't get to play any of them. They'd play them once in a while for me. And, and so I grew up looking at albums and cherishing albums. And he comes walking into my room, and he's got a record. And I'm listening to my AM radio, the Top 40, and he goes, here, listen to this. And he thrust the Almond Brothers Eat a Peach into my hands. I put it on my, my turntable, I, 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 no, not turntable, my record player, the kind that opened up like a box, because that's what I had at the time, tinny sounding with a bad needle. And One Way Out started up. And I remember how impressionable I was, and I just w was captured by this. There was crowd cheering in the background. I'm like, wow, this is so cool. There's people that go to see this stuff live, and I mean, it just kind of hit me all at that moment. And as a songwriter, there's nothing else cooler than playing and singing your songs and looking out at the crowd and somebody in front of you singing your words back to you because they know your songs and those songs mean something to them and they know you and they know what you're singing about. And that is super cool to get that feeling. I'm a little rough today. This weekend I was at a great party. Friday night I was at a concert, Trampled by Turtles in the Lacrosse Center. It was pretty cool. I couple thousand people there having a good time but Saturday night I was at a house party at a friend's house uh, Motown just celebrated their 60th anniversary and he decided to have a Motown 60th anniversary party and we played all Motown music and people were dancing having a good time carrying on and I was up till 3 30 in the morning on Sunday morning uh, which really <laughs> knocks me sideways when that happens and, and I don't drink a lot anymore I can't um, I used to really enjoy beer I still do, but it really affects me a lot with my condition. It slows me down quite, quite particularly. So I didn't have my first drink till midnight actually that night, which was great. And I did that on purpose. I, I paced myself, but once I started drinking, I thought it's late enough. I can drink. And I was staying at his house that night. So I had nothing else to do. So everybody else was three sheets to the wind. And here I am the sober one laughing at everybody and all that, you know, you've been in that situation before. And, and then I, I kind of caught up with them because it doesn't take me much to get a little tipsy these days. But it was a lot of fun from 1 o'clock till 3 in the morning <laughs> as the crowd abated and we were down to like a handful of us core hardcores. We had a great time though. And I finally crawled off to bed and hauled my butt to bed at 3.30 in the morning. But damn, I paid for it on Sunday afternoon. It's not a hungover feeling. It's just my body really shuts down a lot. Uh, I, the stiffness of Parkinson's, the slow movement. Um, it, it really exponentially stays with me. Um, there's moments of the day, like I said, that I gotta chill and rest a little bit. Uh, those come few and far between and they might be last a half an hour and then that's fine or 15 minutes sometimes as short as that. Or I'm, I'm down for 45 minutes, but it's not that long. But Sunday I pretty much had to have much of the day to just relax and fortunately I've got, I call it the great chair. It's a big old, comfy chair with squishy sides and everything and reclines and that's where I live on Sunday afternoon sometimes during the football season. So that was a good day yesterday to just chill. If you like what you what you saw here today, please click the subscribe button. Get on DrewBides.com, check out some information, and we'll see you next week. Oh, 
should say thanks. I keep doing it. <laughs>